August 29th, Thursday, February School Evangelization Message. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. The Lord had said to Abraham, Leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land I will show you. During the remnant years, there's an attitude that remnants must have while praying and holding on to the covenant given by God. Remnants mustn't forget that they're those who remained and possessed the gospel, pilgrims on the long journey of world evangelization and conquerors who changed darkness. Among the figures in the Bible who enjoyed these answers was Abraham. Then how was Abraham able to enjoy those answers? First, it was Abraham's start. God told Abraham to go to the place where the word would be fulfilled. That's how Abraham was able to give up all his unbelief and go to Canaan. Second, it was Abraham's decision. To Abraham, who came out with his nephew Lot, problems continued to come. However, as recorded in Genesis chapter 13 verse 18, he renounced all unbelief and decided to build an altar. Third, to Abraham who built the altar, a crisis came. It may have seemed like a crisis. However, for Abraham, it was an opportunity of God-given blessings to receive the answer that all people in the world would be blessed through him. Fourth, Abraham's son Isaac received a hundredfold of answers for the sake of world evangelization. Through prayer, remnants must continue to seek answers from God. Then, at least once a day, they must set apart time to build an altar before him, just like Abraham did. Dear God, by living a life that builds an altar, help me to become the main figure of world evangelization. I pray in the name of the living Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.